Hey guys, we are back in America for the rest of today. Yeah, only for the next <laughs> few hours. As soon as we got back from New Zealand, we got back in our Winnebago, our home on wheels. And we spent some time back in Texas going to weddings and getting everything prepped in the RV. I got to be a best man for my buddy's wedding from college. Very it was really excited about it. Really cool. Yeah. Thanks, and now Jim. we've been driving north to get to Canada, which is where we are crossing into today. We went to Canada for a couple weeks two years ago. We realized that was not nearly enough time to go spend in Canada. We went to Canada twice because we drove to Alaska. You're right. I forget. I have a terrible memory. So we've been to Canada a couple times, but it's beautiful and we want to go back. And we also got kind of got a bug while we were in New Zealand that we wanted to try to RV to basically every country where people go RVing there. Yeah. So this is as boldly saying. So we have saying, a lot to do. So we have a lot of places to drive. So we but were, Canada was easy because you just yeah just right head there. straight up north. So we got a good quality family time, and basically we're kicking off three more months of travel adventures, adventures videos. Thank you guys for watching. We're excited. We're currently in Minnesota right now, and we are headed directly north to a little town called Winkler uh, for our first stop in Canada. And I'm not sure how big the border crossing is that we're going to go do today. We've previously done various border crossings, and they're always there's no major cities nearby, so yeah. I assume it's pretty small. Hopefully, it doesn't take too long. Sometimes when we're going through the border crossing, it's been like a long period of time, and sometimes it's really quick. They just the kinda first time through. it took over an hour. The second time it took 15 minutes. Yeah, one of the first times. Who knows we, what today will be like? One of the first times we went through the border crossing, we saw them like through the window our, our they RV, searched the RV, and they were like picked up our monopod for a camera and like were sh like pulling Extended. it all the way out, <laughs> and they were like waving it like a baton i was just like what is the dialogue that's happening here? i really want to do like a bat anyway so who knows what's going to happen it's always fun adventures when we're crossing into canada we're excited we're leaving the country <laughs> again <laughs> Cars hooked up. Winkler's plugged in. That sounds so, <laughs> so wrong. <laughs> Ten more minutes until we reach the border. It's been a long four hours of nothing but cornfields across North Dakota. Last exit before Canada. This is it, babe. This is your last glimpse of America. It's getting real America. You want to get our passports out? They are right here. Here's mine. We've been sitting here a few minutes. It means they're asking questions today. I think we picked the wrong lane. We're next in line now. So we went through and talked to the little person in the kiosk. She had us come inside so they could search our RV. So we've been here for about 40 minutes now. We just got back in the RV and the customs agent walked us out and he's like, I just wanted to show you one thing about your RV. So I'm like, okay, what law are we breaking? They broke our door handle off. At, anytime anybody comes to visit us in our RV, they can never like they know, can never know figure out how to get, get out of the door. And so this latch says open on it. So I'm assuming that they tried to like open this one, which makes logical sense because it says open on it, but there's actually another handle. There's so. two handles and so now, like literally, we can't get out of the RV <laughs> because the, there's no handle to unlatch the latch. We'll just crawl out of the windows, I guess. I, I really, like, we were just messing with it, and we can't get out. <laughs> we'll so, figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. But, We made yay, it through. We made it through. Let's go to Canada. <laughs> oh, so stressful. Hold on. How did you do it? How did you, you get it out? like, pull it in. Oh. Pull it? Yeah, like, that thing still kind of comes in, I guess. And you can oh, pull it gosh. out like that. How did I do that? Is the car good? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. Last over there. Is there a place to pull up the Winnebago? 
All right, we made it to our campsite, and we found something else that was broken. I don't know how it happened, but like the yeah. door coming out of our uh, the handle, like so that you don't fall when you go out. I think when they were trying to push open the door, they were holding onto the handle, and they they ripped the handle. I out just of the wall. I just imagine somebody being in here like, how do you like, open trapped. this? Door? Honestly, when we have friends come stay with us, they're like, how do you open this door? So I don't I don't fault the guys at all. And there's a Winnebago service shop in town, so I know we there can... Is? Yeah, we can get... Um, okay. We should be able to get our stuff fixed, no problem. Just a minor <laughs> annoyance. Honestly, when you travel in an RV, it's things like this on travel days. Like, stuff always happens, and you just have to roll with it. This is why we shouldn't do Whole30, because you need a glass of wine after a day like today. It's so true. It's so true. And we have no wine. But we're excited. We're in Canada. We made it. Uh, yeah. Our T-Mobile hotspot that we got for Canada is working, so that's fantastic. Yes. And we're going to have curry tonight for dinner, and it's going to be delicious. Probably not the most exciting vlog days to kick it off for Canada, but it's going to get more exciting. It's going to get more beautiful. And more beautiful. We're going to go in the mountains. Eventually, we're going to see the ocean. We're going to go to wine country in D.C. We're just going to do Don't lots of stuff. Don't say wine to me right now. Mm. 